Hi, Tiffany. Thanks for coming to talk about ghosts with me. Hi, thanks for having me. Okay, so we are talking specifically about UK ghosts, and I know you and I are aligned in this, but I would love to know, how did you first come to know this series? You know, as Americans, we're not very cultured. <laughs> so how did you discover it? <laughs> I think a friend just told me about it, and I was like, oh, well, I'll, I'll check it out. And I'd seen, I think, a couple of the episodes of the American Ghosts at that point, not like in order or anything. Mm -hmm. So more or less the concept is the same. Um, but you know, different cast, different characters. So it's pretty much watching a different show once you get past the pilot. Are you one of those people who thinks that UK versions are better than US versions or are you team US over UK? Like when we talk about the office. It depends on the show. <laughs> like it, depend it really depends on the show. Like sometimes in general, reboots tend to be not as good, I think, but I really like the American Ghosts so I. <laughs> um, because I like the I like the main couple mm -hmm. more. Not that I don't like the UK Ghost couple, but the main, like the American couple, they're, they have this like sweetness to them. Like, and he's, I don't remember his name. I don't remember either of their names, but he's so <laughs> much more like, like he has so much, so much more of an arc. He's not just kind of like, ah, the side character. He like their relationship has an arc and he has a relationship with the ghosts too, like individually, which I think is really like special. And I think that's like less apparent in the UK ghosts. So the UK ghosts is now in America because in this sort of post writer strike, possibly post actor strike, hasn't been ratified yet at the time of this recording. Uh, world, we've imported a lot of foreign content to fill out our fall slate, oh, yeah. including uh, good Canadian content and good UK content like Ghosts. And we're getting a Christmas special in the proud Doctor Who shirt. Like, like UK shows do a great job at doing holiday specials. I think a better job than American shows. Yes, I'm gonna for sure. Drag us a little bit. So not only is Ghost UK getting like beautifully another 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 final season a fifth season but they're getting another christmas special so we thought we would talk about what we love most about ghost uk and tiffany and i are aligned in loving the captain the yes. most played by ben Wilbond, who by the way if you follow on twitter it runs marathons for fun which i think is why you see him running in the morning and he's oh, always doing cute. bracing <laughs> Well, and his Twitter's just him training for marathons. 12 out of 10, do recommend. But I would love to know from you, Tiffany, what do you love best about the captain? Why is he the bestest? First off, I find people who run marathons for fun highly suspicious. Same, As someone who like, would never run unless something was chasing me. Um, Someone's going to drag us on right? online. <laughs> They're gonna be like, why aren't you more healthy? And it's like, because it's not fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, I understand exercising to stay alive, but once you cross into the this is what i do for a hobby um highly suspicious but i, I feel like <laughs> the captain has like he's very sweet and he's um i love his relationship with kitty i think they're mm -hmm. so cute like they have this great kind of father daughter slash best friend thing where you know they go and they look at the ants or or whatever and he provides the support for her that she just doesn't didn't get in her life which is by far the most tragic story <laughs> on Ghost is just Kitty's like life. Yeah. It's so sad. Um, but the captain himself, like he's just, he's always, like if you watch him, he's always doing something and mm -hmm. it's always quiet. Like he's not necessarily like the one landing all the punchlines, but like I'm thinking of the wedding episode where we see like kind of like this like lesbian wedding and he's kind of like commenting on the outfits and he's excited to see them get married and that's just like he brings this layer of texture to the ghosts who can sometimes be like one note as you do in comedies mm -hmm. right not all the side characters can be super deep but he does bring that deepness to the show he also is i mean arguably a dl character himself because in the Amer his american counterpart yeah. is isaac who is like gay 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 super gay from jump and that's the gag of this character but if you can if you watch ghost uk from its beginning you kind of get his love story and it's really sad and really tragic and i think ben wilbon who plays him plays him you were talking like a little bit about in the writing sort of the difference between some of the more overwrought comedic characters and his subtlety i also think he gives a much more subtle performance like he's playing it much more like a straight dramatic mm -hmm. character than like Kitty's a very cartoonish character, and then as her story unfolds, you understand why she acts that way. Robin's like a very broadly drawn character because 
arguably his frontal lobe is not as advanced as the rest of the characters. Um, but the captain is one of the only characters who doesn't have a name, but is the closest to, I think, the real person that that, per that, that person would have been in life. That was a great sentence. I'm going to pat myself on the back for that <laughs> one. <laughs> um, when you started watching Ghost, was this a character from the beginning that you knew that you were going to love? Do you have an affinity for maybe military characters? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like he must have been one of the first ones that I really liked. I, It's funny because like with most of these characters, I think of them as the gag, right? Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned Robin. Yeah. Like the joke is like, he can't say a lot of things, but he's like always playing chess or doing crosswords and he's like smarter than everyone else. Mm -hmm. um, and then like with the captain, I feel like his gag was like that. He was the straight man. He's always like, oh, we've got to be on time. And he's running his little lap. For king and country. I love it. Bracing. Um, <laughs> for king and country. <laughs> Even though he can't go any faster. Like it's the same thing. And every day he does it. And like that, I think that to me is very charming is this mm -hmm. um I, well i feel like it's charming about all the ghosts actually is mm -hmm. that like literally life cannot change for them at mm -hmm. all beyond i guess what the main character the, the living characters bring into their lives like the captain's never gonna run faster yeah all of this stuff but they're still kind of chasing after the joys of life like they're so determined to like find find the ants or look at whatever they're looking at watching the television or whatever that for, for anyone watching tiffany also very sportingly feeds the crows in her backyard and <laughs> publicly do. reports on this so i feel like that's why the ants bit is really resonating <laughs> with you you're like where are those little critters you're gonna go <laughs> yes well that's like part of like i think it's so central to the theme of the show mm -hmm. which is what living is I guess mm -hmm. and the ghosts really like eat I think because they can do so little make so much out of the little that they do and that really does come across with the camp captain because he's making schedules for everyone <laughs> yeah. all of this stuff he's trying to take control in a way that isn't always healthy for him but like it is charming I, I was really drawn to him because the reason I asked about military here is my father was in the military. So if there's like an army guy, I'm like, oh no, I'm going to love him and be yeah. emotionally devastated mm -hmm. by him. So the minute he showed up, um, I was like, oh no, this, this character is going to ruin me. And then, and then he very much did. And it's been kind of delightful to see that the fandom has really responded to this character as well. And we've seen him kind of come into his happiness through these little bits of routine. I also think it's kind of... Um, funny sad which i think is where ghost lives and excels that not only will he never beat his time he can only ever run so far away from the house because they're sort of locked to the location of their death so he can't ever get further he can only sprint as far as he can sprint every single time i think that's a little tragic but for king and country. Speaking of happiness, what are you hoping to see for him in the Christmas special? Like, is there a bit of development that you think this character needs? Or what is a Christmas gift that we think would be good for him? Oh, man. I feel like th they do really cute Christmas specials. I'm trying they do to... good ones. Yes. Like, and they've already done the, sorry, this clacking is Archie's, my dog's. Another little, little dog. animal in Tiffany's life. <laughs> There's a little animal in my house and he's concerned because someone has just come in. <laughs> but he's not, he's a, he's a, a cowardly dog. So he's not going downstairs to investigate. He's just pacing anxiously. <laughs> oh. He's confined but, to the room he's in, like the captain exactly, is confined to the Exactly. <laughs> See, everything links. Everything links. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like they've already done the kind of perfect gift episode, so we yeah. can't do that again. I feel like it would have to be something like, I guess they've done found family. They've mm -hmm. done true love. I'm trying to think. Yeah, they've kind of like I know, it's hit tough. all the big Christmas notes. Maybe a Christmas adventure. Ooh. Like they could all like, like something big could happen and they all have to like figure it out. Um, I do, obviously, because they're ghosts, Christmas ghosts is always a good way to go. Um, or they could do like, like a big Christmas party where a bunch of new people are in and hijinks occur. Um, but you know, heartwarming, you want the heartwarming stuff, you want a good conclusion, especially since like, this is kind of the end for them. It's like the final hurrah. Maybe we'll get shorts or other specials in the future, but they're pretty much done. 
So like something that gives us that I to be honest, I haven't seen the the newest the the newest slash last season, but whatever however that ends, something that gives us like another ending on top of that. It's also a bold choice to not only be ending this series, I, especially in an era where everything just keeps coming back. And there's a chance that the show could keep coming back, honestly, for a good long time. But to end it on a Christmas episode, like, what? You have to do two things, because not only do you have to end the series in a way that is, is ultimately satisfying, whether in the moment or perhaps, like, later upon reflection, but then you have to do it f infused with holiday joy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a task that I would want to take on, but I think they've set themselves like a super, super tall order. I think you're touching on the idea of Christmas ghosts in that, particularly because it's an English show with historical characters and we think of something like um, Charles Dickens, right? Like that could be, that could be a pretty, pretty good out for them. Um, my brain immediately goes with the captain in particular to something. I know this is a first world war thing. Don't tweet me. Um, like the movie Joyeux Noel, where everybody from the different um, armies came into no man's land to play soccer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Football. Yes. I, I don't know how that would go to the ghost, but that's like, that just keeps coming into my brain. So maybe we'll see them all play cricket. I don't think any of them can lift anything <laughs> except Julian. Uh, so TBD on that. But Tiffany, before we wrap up, is there anything else that we need to say about the captain, why we love him so much and why if anyone doesn't agree with us, they are wrong and we hate them. I think you mentioned it already. I mean, yes, first of all. If you're if you disagree with us, you're officially you're not, just well, we don't welcome Discord. What the hell? For gatekeeping. Yeah. <laughs> um But I think the the thing is, like you mentioned it already, like mm -hmm. it would not work as a character without that performance. Like the yeah. performance is so rounded and funny and sweet and interesting and like rooted in this like historical sadness, but also joy too, yeah. right? It's not just queer sadness, it's queer joy. It's queer perseverance. Um, well and well yes, said. and so I think that is at the center of why we both love the captain. And I want to let everyone know, if, if you're not aware, Tiffany's a very powerful person here in the pop verse. <laughs> so if you want more captain or ghost centric content, you got to get this way. Gotta get to Tiffany on social media and ask for it. All right. Lastly, but not leastly, Tiffany, let everybody know where they can follow you online. Yes. Uh, I'm exploding at exploding arrow on Twitter, on Instagram. And then popper says is our handle for, for the site. And then check out the site, the popverse.com. Yes, I am Ashley Victoria Robinson. I'm Ashley V. Robinson on everything. Come to at Popverse says come to thepopverse.com for this and so much more. Bye, Tiffany. Bye.